Hi everybody, welcome to chaserainbow.co.uk. I'm Neil Cottam and this is Project Rat Banner, part two, coming your way. What I've got here is a Mark II Super Burner uh, from about 1985. These were done on a, a chrome frame and then oversprayed with a gold lacquer to make them look lovely and spangly. This one is going to be a donor bike for quite a few parts for the Rat Burner. Um, and then I'm going to strip the frame, clean it, polish it and then sell it on. And same with the wheels, I don't need the wheels. So um, I'll probably keep the bars, I need the brakes and a few bits off it. Uh, and then I'll sell it. But that is the donor bike. People might ask why am I using a higher spec bike for donor parts, but the Wineland brakes and stuff are pretty standard. So uh, they're not high end brakes. It's just a nice looking frame. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll sell that on when it, once it's done and rebuild the rat banner. What it has got is a nice set of tang grips. Uh, these are pretty hard to come by and they're in reasonably good condition. They're actually going on to another build that I'll tell you about another time. So I'm actually gonna be building two bikes, the Rat Burner and then another one, which is a bit nicer. We'll see how that goes. So you can see here on the handlebars, this is the lovely gold super chrome finish, but it's peeling away and stuff. So I'm not gonna try and salvage those i'm going to strip it all off and take it back to the original super chrome and they'll look they'll be pretty nice then so the super burner is pretty much stripped down now i've got to remove the bottom bracket cups they're not in great condition there i'll see if i can restore those but i don't know if i can uh, and the headset is a bit troublesome it's a bit notchy a bit grindy uh, and it's stuck at the minute so i'm gonna to have to figure that one out I've also now got quite a sizable pile of components racking up. A couple of stems there, pedals, uh, bottom brackets, seat clamps and stuff. I've also had a bit of a nice surprise uh, with the crank when I took it out. I thought it would be standard, but it's not. It's, um, if you can see that, I don't know how you say it. Sugano, Sugino, Sugino. Sugano, let's go with Sugano, I don't know. The purists out there, the rally band of purists will now be holding their heads in their hands but I'm not a purist and I'm going to be building bikes that are better than shitty burners <laughs> but that's too long for me that sugano crank so I'm going to uh, clean that up and sell it on eBay I'll probably get 30 quid for that what was I going to tell you I was going to tell you something else and it's gone out of my head uh, I don't really oh yeah yeah so the quality of, of the rally frames, you can see here, the atrocious welding and the fact that they didn't even remove bits of spatter after they'd welded. There's, there's chunks of spatter everywhere. Um, they really, really were like a mass-produced budget bike, but there's a lot of nostalgia attached to them, which is why I'm doing it. It's purely nostalgia. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of much better BMXs out there, to be honest. The Diamondbacks and the Mongoose and the Harrows and the Huffies and the Hutch. There was loads of better bikes out there. But in the UK, these have just got a massive cult following. Um, and they're pretty cool, man. And it's nice. I like nostalgia. So when I've actually stripped it, ooh, look at my shed. It's absolutely rammed full of shit at the minute. Uh, it's not normally like this, honestly. Uh, but the workshop end... Is usually pretty reasonable. The workshop end is, is usually reasonably tidy, even though there's you know a stack of wheels and stuff hanging around at the minute. Um, yeah, so when I've stripped this this lacquer off, along with all the other kind of chrome components, apparently the trick is to give them a bath for a few days in citric acid, watered down citric acid, uh, and it brings the chrome up like new, fetches all the rust pitting and stuff like that off. So all of those components over there that have got any chrome on will be having the acid bath and hopefully they'll come up spanky. Tell you what though, I've got modern day mountain bikes, 29 inch hardtail mountain bike that weighs less than a rally burner BMX and a lot of the old BMXs really. And there's no wonder because this crank 
must be like three kilos, man. It's unbelievable. Uh, and the frames, I don't know what the frames weigh, but my 29-inch titanium frame, admittedly it's titanium, which is light, but I reckon this must be like, I reckon it must be like six kilos. This Because uh, they're steel and they were made bomb-proof. And so, you know, that's why there's thousands of them still kicking around. Um, but this is so heavy, man. This like weighs almost... I've had mountain bike, complete mountain bikes where they built super-fast carbon ones that probably weighed less than this frame and fork. Uh, it's bonkers, man. How do they even get them in the air? Some of these kids are really good as well. This is, these are the bars I'm going to... I think I'm going to be using... Uh, oh no, not on the rat burn. I'm going to use these on the other one. Sorry, the rat burn is having original V-bars. Uh, but these are like really wide. They're like 29 inches wide or something, which is really cool. Because uh, the original burners are like 23 inch bars or something. Uh, the, handling, the handling must be like crap. Um, no, <laughs> I don't even know how they rode these things. Um, apart from the fact they look dead cool with yellow wheels and stuff. Um, so I'm going to be, uh, ooh, you know, restoring this. I'm going to have it powder coated black anyway. Um, and I completely forgot what I was going to tell you now. Uh, I was just going to bang on about bars for a bit. Well, anyway, hopefully a shorter crank, which is what I'm going to fit, uh, a layback saddle and some wider bars should improve the handling and actually make the rat burner or, or the other one, you know, quite decent bikes. So we'll see. So these are the Weinman uh, wheels that I've taken off. Quite nice, they're actually not too heavy, surprisingly, considering the rest of the bike. Uh, this is a weird video, man. For a man who's, who loves rally burners and is really nostalgic about them, all I've done is slag them off today. Um, but they were crap, but they were dead cool as well. They were like the coolest bike on earth. So yeah, you can see where, where the kind of gold lacquer has rubbed off the wheels and stuff like that, but they'll still sell, people still want them, so. Um, don't know what I'll get for those, but these are actually pretty valuable, the reflectors, because people who restore them to original spec really want those. So they're probably worth like 20 quid or something. It's crazy. Um, so there's quite a lot of components that I'm going to restore to a reasonable standard and then sell on. That's it for today. I think we'll, I think we'll call it a day on the video. I've waffled on long enough. You've got an idea of what's going off. My donor parts, my donor bike. Um, um, you know what's going to go on the rat burner and what isn't really the wyman brakes are going on there because i've got them um yeah headset and, and bottom bracket will go back on anyway they're all, they're okay so um yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes I'll, I'll keep you posted over the next few weeks so i've got a lot of restoration work to do now with that um pile of components over here that'll take up some time i think in the evenings uh which is nice because i can do it in the house because uh, it's not very pleasant outside um, and we'll march on. Hopefully next week I'll get a chance to take the frame and everything to the powder coaters and that'll be back fairly quickly. Um, and I'll, I'll probably do a little video when I go there as well, just because it's probably quite cool and quite interesting. So thanks for watching. Um, like, share, comment, tell me off if you want for slagging off rally burners, whatever. Check out chasetherainbow.co.uk and please remember to subscribe and what is it they say? Hit the notification button. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm a good YouTuber. Thanks, everybody. I've been Neil Cotton. You've been fabulous. Bye-bye.